Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest and we are here for a very very special Wolf Quest side story. Uh, one that I don't think I've talked about at all. I may have hinted at this being a thing but I don't think I ever explained any of it and so we're going to jump in for a very special side story in just a minute here uh, but I do want to announce too that today is officially when I'm cutting off the poll for which wolves are going to be traveling to the world of wolf and so the wolves that will be going from our wolf quest series to our wolf series which will be rebooting shortly are going to be Ares and star so you will be seeing them again in our wolf series but there is actually one other series where we'll have the chance to be able to see some of uh, nova and equinox and andromeda and orion's descendants in and that is going to be Ultimate Wolf Simulator. Now, we've been spending some time in Ultimate Fox Simulator, and you guys have been enjoying that. And uh, there is a game called Ultimate Wolf Simulator as well by the same creators. And uh, that is going to be one that I'm hoping we can play as well. And so you will have the chance to vote on two wolves from, uh, just like before, from our main Wolf Quest series that will be traveling to that world as well. Uh, two of the other descendants. So you will get to see a grand total of six descendants out of what 30 some that we had <laughs> close to 30 uh from the galaxy pack you'll get to see some of them in ultimate wolf simulator pretty soon here uh but it is up to you to choose which one and once again you will have the chance to vote on your favorites from both nova's and equinox's litters and from andromeda and orion's litters so don't forget to stop in the video description and vote in that poll but as for this series Let's go ahead and hit begin quest. We're going to play on challenging and you can meet our very special side story wolf. Or maybe I shouldn't say meet because you guys have known him for a really long time. So I don't know if any of you guys actually remember Lucan. I hope some of you guys do because he was probably he was actually the first side story we ever had and he was the first wolf from our wolf quest series to travel to the world of wolf. And uh, he has been through a lot. By this point in time, he is an older wolf. Uh, he actually, first of all, traveled to Lost River. There's a coyote. I don't think we actually have to earn the experience with him because we did play in Lost River with him back in a live stream way back when. The first Wolf Quest live stream I ever did back when we had the weekly Sunday streams. I do definitely want to start doing more live streams again as well. I just need to figure out a time because I still have the Riden's Quest streams that need to be scheduled as well. And two live streams a week is kind of a tall order. Uh, but we'll be working on that. So does he actually have experience already? If we look at his pack stats, he does! He has 2,500 already! Wow! And he has 40% strength, 55% stamina, and 56% speed. Uh, probably these two are the stamina and speed are just slightly balanced near the round off point which is why it looks like he has more than uh, 150 points <laughs> uh, we already played for about two and a half hours with him he's survived two strangers and had one dispersal encounter he's got a lot of elk hunts he's done a lot of things he ran around for quite some time in lost river and that was where he first or he met his uh his mate cloud song aka speckle and uh, they ran around in lost river for a while and then went back to the world of Wolf, where they met uh, Cloud Song's brother, Lightfall. So Lightfall and Lucan didn't always get along, but eventually they became pretty close friends. And uh, ultimately, though, the tragedy struck because Cloud Song died suddenly. And we still don't really know why. We think she was probably sick or something. And uh, she unfortunately did not make it. And uh, Lucan, devastated, came running back here to his home in Yellowstone. Is there do I hear hunting music I don't think I hear hunting music but he came running back to his home in Yellowstone and uh, has once again returned to the slopes of Amethyst Mountain so I thought it would be a kind of nice conclusion to his story to give him a little bit of a second chance because he never got the opportunity to raise puppies and uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually look around here on Amethyst Mountain and see if potentially even in his old age he could find another mate and possibly end up having puppies to carry on his legacy now he doesn't we're not gonna be playing with a, a challenge or side quest or any of that because i don't think he even ever had one i think he just went straight to the world of wolf because you guys wanted to see that and uh, so because of that he's gonna just be lingering around here looking for a mate and we're not gonna have to worry about um having him do anything specifically special to uh, 
reach that goal, but we're going to see if we can actually find him a mate here on Amethyst Mountain um, so that he can have, hopefully, his lineage continue because he never got that opportunity, and uh, that was probably the saddest part of his story, in my opinion, because that's ultimately what it comes down to for wild animals is basically, it's not like a conscious goal or anything, but basically their their goal, their mission, their their purpose in their lives is to try and pass on their genes, and Lucan never really had the chance to do that. So let's look at, there is a dispersal female here. She looks a lot like him. She's very light in coloration. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I think... Hmm. She kind of looks like... I don't know. I'm not so sure. I don't think we're really gonna... I don't think we're gonna take her as our mate here, because... I feel like... I don't know. I can't remember... Tara was from the Plains, wasn't he? I'm trying to... Going back through all this ancestry where we have, like, a hundred wolves, and try to remember where everybody is from is very chaotic, but she... I try to avoid sometimes taking wolves that look like they could be from a distant relation or anything like that, and she does look an awful lot like Lucan. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't quite feel like... like that was a good idea. Although I think in, in hindsight, I couldn't remember where Terrell was from for a bit, but I think he's actually from the pack down there. And uh, so we'll actually probably head down, we'll probably go between this pack and the Druid pack looking to see if we can, whoa, there's a hare, looking to see if we can find a mate uh, amongst them. But I don't know, I generally, unless there's a lot of variation, so like there's a lot of dark coats, but there's not that many light colored coats. If a wolf looks like it, could, they could be a distant relation, a lot of the time I'm probably not going to take them as a mate because it just looks too much like they could be related. The other thing is, too, uh, for our current wolves, our season four wolves, we're now four generations in. Lucan is only generation two. He is the son of Katari and Terrell. And uh, so all we have to worry about with them, because Katari was originally reintroduced and uh, Terrell is from the Slough pack over here. And so we don't really have to worry about their bloodlines as much as I'm used to <laughs> with the um, uh, with the wolves in um, in our new series. So, like... Or in in the later series, so we know Equinox is of um, of Druid legacy, and then I believe uh, Orion was from that pack up there. So we don't have to worry quite as much as I'm used to with Lacan, probably. Um, but we will check out the Druid pack down here and just see if we can find any wolves down here that are roaming around. Although the Druid pack is a little bit notorious uh, at this point in the time, they are starting. Or at this point in time, they are starting to decline, though. So that's a little bit, a uh, little bit better for Lucan. Although they're probably still quite strong in an actual face-to-face -face fight. Uh, okay, so we want to be going this way. Uh, I have to always get my bearings on the wind direction, <laughs> and uh, try and figure out where exactly. Okay, are we on the right side? We are sort of. We need to go a little further. Here we go. Um, this used to be, no, it wasn't this hill. There used to be, in the old uh, 2.5 and under versions, there used to be one hill where the wolf would always spawn, and it was a very distinct looking hill, and that almost looked like it. So we have, we do have a dispersal female. Hmm. Let's look around. So she is probably of a druid heritage. And, um... Yeah, she's most likely of Druid heritage. We actually, um, she looks a lot like Equinox, and Equinox is Druid heritage, so that would make her probably a third gen Druid. Um, Lucan has been away from, for a while. This could actually, honestly, even be one of uh, Equinox's siblings or something, or a distant relation, because there we know there were some very some dark colored wolves in the pack because her mother was a very dark colored wolf and then her father is that brown wolf we've seen around sometimes uh but lucan is that would uh gosh that would make them related it would st they're not related but it would make their descendants related on both sides of the 
this family tree gets crazy, you guys. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm very thankful we have a family tree. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, there's definitely no relation between these two. Because this was the period in time where Katari and her, most of her descendants wanted nothing to do with the druids. So there's no relation. Yeah, I think I think he might take her as as his mate, I think, because he's also been away from so even remember, even though we've had a lot of quarrels with the druids, he's also been away for so long. He's been away for years and years and years and has only just come home, so it's not likely they would recognize him. And he might remember them some, but he basically went straight to Lost River and didn't really stick around to mess with the packs around here. So he's really unknown to them, and they're pretty unknown to him. I think he would go ahead and take her as his mate. So let's uh, say hello there. Don't want to be too forward yet. That's a little bit of a, a very, uh, very, very sudden. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, a little bit too friendly option, perhaps. Don't want to scare her off or anything. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like them together. There's kind of a nice contrast there. A lot of the time I will try to choose wolves that have different looks as well because then we don't have puppies that are all one color or anything. It's kind of interesting to have a variety of genetics and such that show up. And that way we don't really, a lot of the time we don't get stuck in, uh, we don't get stuck in a rut of having wolves that all look the same. <laughs> uh, so it is kind of interesting to sometimes have variety between the mates. And, um, oh wow, there's like an elk. Or no, that's a moose, isn't it? I think that's a moose. So I think we'll say let's start a pack. I feel like she probably dispersed. I, I think she seems, well, I mean, she's, it says dispersal, so she probably was one of the ones who left the pack here. Um, but I don't know if it would be as dramatic as Equinox is leaving <laughs> and all of that, because Equinox is all the way up at the, um, at the top, or at the, at the northern pack. And I think we're actually, or would that be northern? The one on top of the mountain, whatever it is. <laughs> the Amethyst Mountain Pack, there we go. I think we're gonna go ahead and call her Senka, because that name actually means shadow. And um, she is a very dark colored wolf. There she is. Let's get her name tag on too, so we can see where she is. And let's actually investigate. We heard that moose sound. And um, I, I want to see if there actually is a moose or if that's just ambient noise. A lot of the time the moose will spawn up here. Oh, here's a, a hare as well. Make sure we eat a little bit. Oh, there we go. I guess we're right at the... Whoa! Whoa! That's a lot of scent markers right there. Wow! <laughs> uh, they all kind of spawned right there. I think I think uh, Senka ran through there as well. So we have Wicon and Senka and we'll actually... She is fast! Good gracious! We will actually uh, send them off to Slop Creek, and that is a fox. We should check the annual. Actually, I don't even know what year this is in game. It's it's one of the later years, so maybe we'll leave them. Uh, we'll leave them be. We don't normally mess with the annual challenges for the side quest wolves anyway. It's mostly just for our main series. Uh, so we will send these guys off to Slop Creek and have them head this way. Maybe we'll have them do. Well, maybe we'll send them off now and then have them start in on their winter hunting possibly we'll see how long it takes us to get over there because it is quite a trek over there and uh, if you guys have been keeping up with the development too uh we'll actually let me just quickly detour we'll, we'll have these guys run over here oh there's a hare we'll also catch this guy if we can there we go a little extra experience never hurts and a little snack doesn't either uh, but if we come over here, if you have seen some of their new, uh, some of their development videos, you'll know that they're actually expanding this map. So that whole area down there where you can see the river and stuff in the background that right now is just part of the skybox, they're actually expanding the map to include, I believe, all of that as well. They're making the maps, the current maps are two by two kilometers. So yeah, okay, no, it would be, it would be south, the Amethyst Mountain Pack 2 would be south, um, southwest. Um, it feels north because up, but okay. <laughs> um, 
But anyway, the current maps are two by two kilometers, I believe, and the new one that they're expanding it to for the anniversary edition is going to be seven kilometers. So that is more than three times the size of the current map. And I believe it will encompass that whole river area down there that we can't even reach right now. They also posted a video recently of the uh, new elk system because they're changing the elk spawn system. And that was pretty stinking cool as well. There's a lot of cool things that are going to go into this new update, and so if you guys aren't following the development blogs, I would highly recommend you do that. They post them on YouTube, they post them on uh, the forums, they post them on social media. There's a lot of cool things that they have coming. Oh, there's another fox. Uh, but that they're planning to put in to the coming anniversary edition and the later Towerfall update. And it's going to be really, really cool. So if you guys haven't been keeping up with that, I would definitely recommend you go check that out. I have a link to the Wolf Quest YouTube channel on my recommended channels on the pa front page of my channel. Because uh, they have some really cool stuff that they're going to be putting in. And I am super pumped for that. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get these guys headed off to Slough Creek here. How far are they? They're ways off yet. So we'll probably actually not send them off this episode. We'll have them go next time, and uh, then we'll send them off for the next episode after that. Uh, but yeah, we'll at least get them over there, and uh, we'll, I, I'm pretty thankful that we actually were able to find a mate, especially a fairly, fairly quickly. Uh, Lucan, I feel it isn't a super picky wolf, but after having several years of experience under his belt, he probably would uh, want to be um, a little bit cautious. Uh, and the Druid pack is notoriously strong, so I feel like Senko would probably be a pretty strong and fit wolf. Um, actually, she's probably not Equinox's sibling at this point, because... No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to try and figure out how Senka fits into the family tree, you guys. <laughs> uh, she is of Druid ancestry, probably second or, or third gen in any case. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.